how does consistency matter in you know maintaining or in anything that you want to do how does consistency matter and what uh, what kind of impact does it make um consistency is very important um like i stated earlier you know life is not an easy task you know mm -hmm. walking your journey of life is not an easy task some people do have it easy but for most it's not easy so being consistent in um what you the goal that you want to reach you have to know that you're going you have to stay consistent with it you have to uh every day you have to um, manifest something different and when you when you're when you're we're trying to reach the same goal um mm -hmm. and i say that to say this because what what might work for someone else may not work for you so you have to figure out what works for you and that is a, a part of that consistency you have to learn um to stay on the on the on your path you have to learn that you might reach those stumbling blocks, but those are just stumbling blocks. Stay consistent with what you want to go because there is light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to find that light. And in that light, you're going to go through a little bit of darkness, but there's always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And once you reach that, you're going you're gonna to look back and like, I, re I reached my goal because I stayed consistent. I stayed focused. It's all about staying focused, staying consistent, and just really believing in yourself. You know, my sis Tab said earlier, you know, a lot of people look for validation from others, mm -hmm. but you seek that validation within yourself. Once you seek that validation in, within yourself, then you know that I can I can obtain any goal that I want to obtain. I just have to stay consistent and, and, and believe in myself. Once, once you do those two things, you could achieve whatever goal that you want to achieve. Absolutely. Very well put. Tab, would you like me to repeat the question? Yes, please. One more time. Of course, of course, because we're focused on uh, Nasa's answer, which I'm was gonna, amazing. And I want to... Yes, definitely. And uh, before I repeat the repeat the question for Tab to answer, I wanted to highlight uh, uh, Nasa's answer. Uh, what stuck up uh, stuck to me the most is consistency, discipline. You you need to be able to be disciplined to stick to it. And and one of the best ways to understand about yourself if you're disciplined or not is when you find yourself doing something and you don't like doing it, you rather not do it and yet you continue to do it so you can be done with it, that's called discipline. That means you have discipline if you can do that. So yeah. Tab, the question was, Does how does consistency matter in maintaining or growing or starting anything, what, whether it's a project or a business or, or a task? What, what kind of role does consistency play in it? Consistency to me is um, kind of like when they say it, it takes 21 days to either develop or break a habit. Mm. Um, I, I line that with consistency all the time when I think about what it's going to take to, to get where I'm going. Um, if you if you stop, if you start something three days and then you stop focusing on it for four days, you, you're starting over every single time. So you're pushing yourself back. Consistency is what gets you ahead faster. And it doesn't seem like it's faster because it's not on your clock. Your clock mm -hmm. is tomorrow, typically, you know. Um, but when you're talking about consistency, it is it's discipline. It's um, you gotta you want you gotta want to thrive. You gotta know that the rough patch is worse than success. And um, when you're consistent with something, you feel great about it. Just like we were talking about working hard on on things. When you work mm -hmm. hard for something for yourself and you gain it. When you buy your first car and you know that you put cash into that car and you worked overtime for that car, that was consistency. You knew that for two months straight, you had to work overtime. You had to be on time. You had to save this amount of money. You you put yourself in the mindset to say, this is where I want to grow. If you maintain that mindset with that consistency, you have no problem. Um, I have a problem Unstoppable. with consistency <laughs> sometimes. And then when I realize that I'm lacking, I'm pressing myself harder and harder and harder and harder. And it seems like I'm hard on myself in that moment, but I'm not because I lack that consistency at one point and now I got to play catch up. So it, it, it's a game of catch up when you lack consistency. Things come faster. Exactly. So I true. Agree. And uh, that that's so true. And Nasa, would you like to add anything? No, I'm just saying I agree 100%. Same here. Same here. And uh, like DJ Khaled says, otherwise you're playing yourself. 
because yeah. you're gonna be the one doing the catch up. You know, it's not like someone else is gonna do it for you. So, don't play yourself. Get it done. In fact, you wanna do tomorrow's if you possibly can a little bit that you can do tomorrow. Do it today. You're ahead. You're ahead of yeah. your own schedule. Now, uh, and I personally, this message resonates with me a lot, and I feel like I'm gonna take it with me throughout the rest of my life. Is um, you need to have self-dependence no matter what the amount of the task is whether it's taking the trash out or whether it's opening your own business you need to have a mindset of if i'm choosing to do this i need to rely on myself and not expect help from others and when you have that kind of mindset you start working on your craft automatically people start helping you and um that's just how life goes. If you ask for people to come do it for you, nobody's going to help you. But when you're doing it, even when you're struggling, it doesn't matter. As long as you're doing it, you're going to get help. So when you start helping yourself, you continue getting help from others. It, it, that, that's what I've uh, learned.